What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Sava Tech once again, and the day has come. We're going to be checking out the hash rate for the AMD Threadripper Ryzen Threadripper 1950X. It's a mouthful. It's also a coreful, coreful, 16 cores, 32 threads on Monero. Let's uh, let's see how it goes. So stick around. Alrighty, welcome back. So I'm going to actually move this camera that you guys are looking at me on over to the kilowatt and then you guys are going to be taking a look at the monitor through an Elgato uh, capture that we're running on my other PC or main PC. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. We are on watts now. And then moving on over to We will not need this cord today or anything of the such sort. Actually, we do need to head on over to two things. We need to go to sumopool.sunofattack. This will be the same as Monero. It is just a different coin. It's Sumo coin. If you guys haven't heard of it, I will put a link in the description for my how and why to mine it. It's been pretty profitable and we do have our own pool up, so feel free to go check that out. Now the other thing I may need to do is get the XMR stack miner for the CPU. I don't think I have a direct link here, do I? Yes, I do. Perfect. Okay. So we'll head on over to GitHub. And this is the one we're looking for. So let's go ahead and get it downloaded. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut and throw on the desktop. We have our config text here. On the first run, the miner will look at your system and suggest a basic config. So just like it does with the CPU. And here's the config it gives us. Looks like it has, uh, it's doing every other thread. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 4, a total of 16 threads. It should be here. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hell yeah. So we'll just copy that. Edit the config right here. Should paste it right there. And then we will save. Now I do have... I threw my config on real quickly to grab this. I need the Sumo wallet address. And then we'll just grab our Sumo pool, which is sumopool.sunofatech.com. And we will save. I think we should be good to go at this point now. Go back to the desktop and run the miner. So the moment of truth is here. We are about to find out how well Threadripper mines XMR or Sumo or Kryptonite as the algo. So that's what we're looking for here. Alrighty, so what we are showing currently is, and it looks like we're correct, we have 16 threads showing, 0 through 15, and we are mining at 1118 hash a second, so there you go. I know that there are possibly some tweaks we can do to make this or improve this and I'll have to look into them and let you guys know later on down the line. But this is the initial run and that's, I mean, that's really not bad for a CPU. I am impressed. Now I have looked into enabling SMT for it and apparently that just hurts it. So we don't really need to look down that path necessarily, but there are some other things we can possibly do to get some tweaks out of it. And that'll be covered in another video. So it looks like our power usage while mining is at 229 watts, 230 watts. Now keep in mind, I'm using an 860i power supply. So that's a very high efficiency power supply. And we aren't using anything on the GPU itself at all. Now a couple other things we'll check out here is hardware monitor and CPU Z. So as you can see in CPU Z, every other thread is at 100%. So we are capping that out. 
golden. We are currently overclocked to four gigahertz, as you can see here as well. And at the top, you can see that it does say this is the Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, as well as you can see it on CPU-Z. Our memory is at 2666. And of course, you just take this NB frequency and double it, essentially is how that works with DDR4. Just a heads up on that. Our package temperatures seem perfectly fine, 56C. So I'm not really worried about that. And it's about 77 degrees Fahrenheit in this room right now. Alrighty, so that's going to wrap up mining on the Threadripper 1950X. I was actually wrong. If you guys would have asked me before this, I would have said that we are going to get about 1800 hash a second on the 1950X, but I would have also said that we would have been over 300 watts on the system power draw. So, hey, good news, it doesn't pull as much power as I was expecting. Bad news, it doesn't hash as high as I was expecting. Like I said, we're gonna have to try some tweaks. If you already know of some, let me know in the comment section below and I will reply with the results uh, from those tweaks that you suggest. And if it works out very good, I'll uh, shout you out in the video as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you, you, ooh, cracking. I will see you next Tuesday.